It's the Dodgers nothing, Red Sox nothing. All right, well, the All-Star, the MVP of the All-Star game, your own Jaron Duran. Shot to center field, hit deep. But has back all the way to the track in the wall. It is out of here. Home run, Jaron Duran. Number 11. The Red Sox on the board here in the fifth inning, one to nothing. Shohei, who is 0 for 2 in this game. Nick Pavetta has retired him on two fastballs up. Swing and a miss. Got him again for the third time in the game. This time with a cutter. Pavetta fans Otani. So loads the bases and brings Freddie Freeman up. And you, of course, understand the strategy, but. I would think when you're a guy like Freddie Freeman, you're like, okay. Rips one down the line. It's got a chance. It's a grand slam. Freddie Freeman turns the game upside down. Holy smokes, Freddie Freeman absolutely annihilated that pitch. And his seventh career grand slam has the Dodgers in front four to one. Swung on and hit down the line. Fair ball down the third base line. Trey Turner will score. Here comes Bryce Harper. He will score. And it is a two-run double from Nick Castellanos. Struck deeply to center. Pache racing back. McCutcheon scores. It's the second hardest hit ball this year in baseball. And who hit the first one? He did. <laughs> 121. 1-1 pitch. Swung on and that one's hit in the air to left field. Reynolds is going back. He's at the track. He's at the wall. He reaches up and did he get it? He did not. It's a home run. A solo shot for Wilson and he gives the Phillies the lead back. It's four to three. And the pitch swung on and that one's hit well. Reynolds going back to the left field. He's at the track. He's at the wall and that one is gone. A two run shot by Trey Turner. He's at it again. Can you imagine starting the second half of this season with a come from behind win against the best team in baseball in front of the largest crowd in this ballpark since April of 2015. Chopper coming to the plate. It is tied. O'Neill Cruz gets it done. 7-7. Seven, seven. Nick Gonzalez can win it. Swung out, hit into that piece hit. Nick Gonzalez wins it for the Pirates. Their first lead of the night comes in the final pitch of the game. And that one's tapped slowly to Walls. They'll take the out of first. Royal scores. Rice crosses the plate. Now Volpe has an opportunity to get a big hit here. Ground it, past the diving Caballero and down the left field line. Soto scores. Judge scores. They're sending him home. The throw, not in time. It's a bases clearing double for Volpe. And the Yankees lead 4 0. Driven into left center field and deep. A Rosarena back, turning, looking. It's off the base of the wall. Soto will stop at second. No, he's going to go for three. And the throw is. Past the third baseman, Caballero goes into the dugout, and he's got himself a little league home run if they wave him home. Yes, they will. And it's 5-0 Yanks. Juan Soto touches home plate on the throwing error by the Rays. We'll see how they score, but it's a 5-0 Yankee lead. He drives that one well out to right field, and what a start to the back half of the campaign for Adley Rutschman. And he hits one in the air to right and deep. Garcia is back. He's turning around, and that baby's gone. Colton Kowser hits a two-run homer, and it's four to nothing, Baltimore. Anthony smokes one to deep right field. That baby is long gone. Way out. Number 25 into the lap of a bird fan. And that's rocketed down the line. Will it stay fair? It sure will. It's a two-homer night for Anthony Santander. And he's blown this game open with a three-run homer. And he gets a bunt down the third baseline beautifully. Rojas will have to hurry, and he can't make the play. And it squirts away from the first baseman. In to score is Cabbage on the miscue by Josh Rojas from third base. Giners had more at bats with the bases loaded than anybody else and he comes through with a base hit into right field. In comes Altuve. Here comes Bregman. He's going to score. The throw goes into second. It's three nothing Astros. This is Jorge Polanco to left field and the Astros for the first time this season are in first place. They win it three to nothing. 
Now they're loaded for Ramirez. And he bounces this one up the middle, a base hit. Naylor scores, Quan rounds third and heads home. Throw to the plate for Merrill, a good one. Dropped at the plate by Higashioka. It's 3-0 Cleveland as Jose Ramirez drives in two. Brian Rocchio batting for the first time tonight. He loops one to right field, that's a base hit. And the Guardians continue to pour it on here in the eighth inning. Ramirez and Naylor score. It is 6-0 Cleveland. It's the number three hitter, Jake Berger, to lead off. Right-hand batter with power. He sends a fly ball out toward left center field. Hit pretty well. Bader looking up, and it's gone. A solo home run for Jake Berger. Here's Fortes. Swinging away here, and that'll work, too. Nick Fortes with a ribby single to make it 6-4. to four. Hitting near 500 with runners in scoring position. A huge insurance run. There's no way that Craig Council in that Cub dugout or Tommy Hadovy saw this coming. Nope. Based on how absolutely dominant, and that's the word, dominant Justin Steele has been. It is Suzuki. He's walked in each of his last two trips to the plate. Two on, two out. Rushed it up there. Paul Seawald shuts the door. Diamondbacks get win number 50, and they take the opener here at Wrigley Field. Bobby Witt Jr., who was center stage down in Texas. Home run derby was electric. And Bobby Witt Jr. tees off to left. There's your all-star, giving his team a 1-0 lead. So much for the curse of the home run derby taking away your power. It's 4-0, and so now it's Michael Massey with a chance with the bases loaded. Two-run single, Michael Massey. There's the hit the Royals have been looking for. The Royals have busted this game open. RBI opportunity for Riley Green. Rips this one deep in the hole. Pass to Diving Horwitz into right field. A base hit. Here comes Fearling, and he gives the Tigers a 1-0 lead here in the fourth inning. Swing, and Canna sends this one deep left field. Varsho going back. Warning track wall, and it's gone. Fires to Wenzel Perez. George Springer can't find the ball, and it's going to be over his head and out of here. Springer put his arms in the air, says, I can't find it. He can't find it because it's in the Tiger bullpen. Here is Kbert Ruiz. Kbert, deep right center, approaching the scoreboard. See you later. It's a big inning for the Nets. Four in the fourth to lead by three. Yepes turns on one, deep left field, approaching the wall. See you later. He keeps on hitting, and now he has a Washington home run. And the Nets are slamming the ball. Brett Wisely, that's off the bag. Let's oh, the Rockies make it out out of this. Oh, oh my wow. goodness, I have never, ever seen that play. That went off the bag, ticketed it for the right field line. It hit Chris Conroy, the umpire, and went right to Michael Tolia. Thank you very much. To Jake Cave, where the game always finds him late, doesn't it? High fly ball to deep right field, and this one's going to fly. Three-run home run, J.K. 6-3, Colorado. Well hit the left. Stay fair, baseball. Touch of all time, Ezekiel Tova. And it is a 7-3 Rockies lead. That gets over the head of jumping Zach Meadow and the first major league hit in the books for Jacob Wilson. Oh, that's just beautiful right there. Jack loves it. High five and his friends and family. Get the baseball for the kid. It's that swung on drive down the left field line, and it is gone. A three-run homer for Schumann. He swings on one towards right field, and J.J. Bourdais. For more on these and other stories, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.